I'm going to create a simple simulation like this. So when I click with the mouse at the mouse position, uh, a new body with a circle shape will appear. And every time I press the mouse button, it will add a new body and a new shape to the simulation circle shape. And also, as you see here, when, when the body's position is below the uh, screen height, it will, it will be removed. Not, not just the body, but the shape, uh, its shape as well, from the space. So let's start create it. Uh, okay. And yes, uh, before I continue, in the second part, I'm going to do the same simulation, but this time with using sprites. It gets a little bit more complicated when you are adding uh, so many sprites. Okay, so let's start it. I prepared here this file and this is just a falling circle. So the next thing I'm going to create the on mouse press event. Mouse press and it needs an X position, a Y position, a button, and a modifier. And also, well first let's just print out something. So print mouse pressed. Of course, it won't work now so when I press nothing prints to the console because we need to add the window event decorator so at window dot event event without the parentheses so now let's run it and as you see mouse pressed is printed I can print out the X and the Y position. X and the Y. Mm -hmm. So when I press, it prints where on the screen I, I, I uh, press the button. So here is the zero, zero. As you see, I go to the left, lower left corner and here is the 1280 and 720 uh, so it is the it, uh, this prints the mouse position on in this uh, in this window so now that we have a mouse press event I'm going to delete this print I can move all this code so control x into this mouse press method and now just change the circle body that position to x and y let me see it Yes, it works. But one thing we are, we are, we are keeping adding, we are keep adding uh, new bodies and new sh circle shapes to the space. But actually, these uh, bodies and shapes 
um, let's say this body or this um, uh, body and shape is now under the screen height and it's still in the space so it's still uh, calculated it its position and all these things so it's not the most efficient so we need to somehow delete when it's below the screen height so we don't waste processing power to actually to calculate these uh, bodies and shapes so here in the update method I'm going to loop through for on every shape in space dot shapes and if and ask if the shape that body that body dot position dot y is below negative 100 let's say then we are going to remove that remove the shape shape that body and also the shape so remember don't just remove the body or just the shape remove both of them when we when you don't need them anymore and let's print it out so space that shapes so every time when when a, when these if statements runs it will remove the current shape body and the shape and it will print out how many shapes left in the space so let me see it so let, let's add three bodies and shapes so now the first shape and body removed and the uh, third so as you see in the console at the end we left only with the two segments line segments and here we started with uh, with two or three circles yes we started with three circles but when when the first was removed two circles remained in the space and when the second wa was removed only one uh, circle remained and after every circle was uh, were removed just the two segments remained in the space so that's how you add multiple bodies and shapes with with mouse click and how you remove it from the space to actually save processing power